The celebration of the long-awaited Silver Jubilee Anniversary of Crystal Laurel Limited, the foremost lift company in Nigeria, has come and gone. The ripple effect, of course, will for a long time linger on in the minds of everyone who partook in the celebrations. From the members of staff of the company, aided by a robust attendance of friends, guests and the media, their foreign partners from different parts of Europe, this will remain a most defining moment in the career of the founding chairman of Crystal Laurel Limited, Otumba Engineer Justice Olubenga Daniel. Wednesday, the 14th October 2015, a day the event was held, was one when Otumba Engineer Benga Daniel reaped bountifully from the years he spent in giving direction to Crystal Laurel Limited. A huge host of his friends, admirers, and business associates across all spheres of life from parts of the world, most especially in private and public sectors, were there. On the list were Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Governor Ibrahim Hassan Dankwambo of Gwambe State, Deputy Governor of Ogun State, Chief Mrs. Yetunde Ononuga, who represented Governor Mosun, former Governors Donald Duke of Cross River State, Otumba Deni Yadebayo of Ekiti State, and Ibrahim Samini Turaki of Jigawa State. Former Senate President David Mark and Sir Kesintin at Debutu, among the rest. The Oriental Hotel Victoria Island Lagos venue also played host to the chairman of the occasion, Otumba Shubomi Balogun, and wife. A strong team of royal fathers from Ogun State were led by the Awujale of Ijebuland, His Royal Majesty Obasikuru Kayori Adetano. The Silver Jubilee Anniversary of Crystal Laurel Limited began with Pastor Tunde Bakari, who also led a brief ministration. He proceeded by drawing attention to the need for thanksgiving for God's goodness towards Crystal Laurel Limited and its founder, Otumba Engineer Benga Daniel. A couple of songs and prayers were offered by Pastor Tunde Bakari to bestow continued blessings on the founder of the company. If I were hungry, God said, I would not tell you for the world is mine and all its fullness. Will I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God thanksgiving and pay your vows to the Most High. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. The welcome address was given by the managing director of Crystal Laurel Limited. Engineer Dideolu Falobi. In it, he saw the privilege accorded Crystal Laurel Limited as space setters in the lift business where only multinationals plied their trade. For that, he gave kudos to the company, its management board, current and past members of staff alike. He said Crystal Laurel Limited will be remembered for breaking the mold and stepping into an area hitherto dominated by multinationals. I want to welcome all of you to the celebration of the 25th anniversary of the starting of operations of Crystal Laurel Limited. We are gathered here to celebrate the grace of God in the life of Crystal Laurel Limited, which has enabled us to remain relevant 25 years after we started operations. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to celebrate our industry and the stakeholders in the industry who gave us the chance as an indigenous engineering company in an area that is the exclusive preserve of multinationals. Chief Shubomi Balogun, who is regarded as the adopted father of the founder, took his turn to deliver his goodwill message at that August occasion. He commended the ingenious initiative of Otumba Benga Daniel, which ranks him among the best hands in the escalators and elevators business around the world. He also appreciated the foresight and unique blend of ideas exhibited by Otumba Benga Daniel, who has created a solid structure on ground to fall back on. Otumba Shubomi Balogu praised the dependable top executive members of Crystal Laurel Limited for holding on during his eight year sojourn in public office as the Chief Executive Officer of Ogun State from 2003 to 2011. He saluted Otumba Benga Daniel and the management of the company for that perfect synergy, whose translation into workable template has in fact 
paid off most desirably. Sometime, a young man came to me and said he had brought in a new elevator called Kun from Finland. I could have been a skeptic, but because of the confidence I had in him, I decided to take a plunge. And I was one of the first to ask him to install it on one of my darling projects, the Atlantic Royal Gardens, just adjacent to the Federal Palace of Whenever I drive past and I see that, my mind always went to Otumba Green Gardens. Mrs. Adenike Akimbote presented Crystal Laurel Limited with the ISO certificate. A large sample of the certificate was given to a representative team of top executive members of Crystal Laurel Limited. This also included their foreign partners who have all played the role of excellent service delivery all these years. In Otumba Benga Daniel's remarks, he went down memory lane and spoke about how Crystal Laurel Limited rose to the current heights with proper positioning. The celebration, of course, would not be complete without acknowledging the role played by personalities like Otumba Adekule Ojora, Mr. Fola Adiola of GT Bank, and others. Organizations which have played a formidable role in the success story of Crystal Laurel Limited were also mentioned. Otumba Agbenga Daniel also praised the foreign partners of Crystal Laurel Limited. Kony of Finland, AEC Uninterruptible Power Supply UPS of Italy, Demag of Germany, Cox Gomil of Spain, and others. Otumba Benga Daniel relished the hard earned accomplishment of Crystal Laurel Limited and its celebrated conquest. In the industry, Crystal Laurel Limited was able to permanently put itself in the mainstream at a time when other brands were taking the exit door. Otumbag Benga Daniel did not hesitate to mention the very good relationship enjoyed by him from personalities like Ashiwaju Balatinubu, who were both otherwise rumored to have lost the love between them. Worthy of note was the contribution of former Senate President David Mark and Crystal Laurel's top executive officers to the success story of Crystal Laurel Limited. Today we thank the Almighty God and the management and staff of this company for their consistency tenacity and efficiency, as one man they say cannot make a forest. Today our company has become the market leaders arguably in virtually all the fields that we have touched. We've since acquired the franchise for Helicon Park, shelving systems from America. Shell and other oil companies have been our major customers in this area. AEC of Italy, our partners in UPS on the power systems. Cosgo Mill of Spain work with us on maintenance platforms and cleaning credits. We are always at home at the highest groups of the world. With these agencies in our hand, our objective has been issued to benchmark ourselves not with local companies that has a perception of not doing things well, but with international bear prices, we cannot but find mentorship and personalities who have been exceptionally with, exceptional with their chosen career paths. It is for this reason that we have had mentorship in Otumba, Michael, Ola Shubomi Balogun. Vice President Professor Yemi Oshimbajo gave his goodwill message on that occasion. In it, the Vice President recounted very long-standing warm friendship established and nurtured by Otumba Benga Daniel and himself from years past till date. Professor Yemi Oshimbajo also parted the back of the pretty Hathrop of the chief celebrant, Yeye Olufunke Daniel, for her supportive role in ensuring that all is well at the home front. I recall that in 1999, just before uh, the inauguration of the new government, at that time, the Crystal Laurel building had just, um, wasn't even opened at the time. And Otumba Benga Daniel, who of course was a very good friend and remains a very good friend of Ashiwa Jubola Metimu, offered the entire building for the transition team and uh, we used that brand new building for several weeks and um, I think that it was, a, not only was it extremely kind of him, but he was always there himself, you know, as a member of the transition team. 
Nobody knew, certainly I didn't know, that one day he was going to be governor as well. I really want to commend you, uh, my dear friend, for all of what you've been through these very many years. I'm not surprised at all, frankly, that um, you've made, not only made a success as governor, but also the focus today on, this, on the company, the major or leading company in electromechanical systems in, in this country. For the next 25 years, I'm sure that you know that um, the next 25 years, and I pray that you will live all of those 25 years and more, but I pray that you will uh, live all of those 25 years. For the next 25 years, of course, the challenge is that Crystal Laurel must make its own lifts and we must now have the Crystal Laurel brand. Mr. Wale Yadun, who represented Ashiwaju Bola Med Tinubu, took his turn to deliver his goodwill message. Like the celebrant said in his remarks, Mr. Edun reiterated that nothing has gone sour in the relationship between Otumba Daniel and Ashiwaju Tinubu. He poured encomium on the legacies laid down in the banking sector by Otumba Shubomi Balogun. This, he said, has set the pathway for others to follow. Every time Ashwaji Bola Ahmed Tinubu goes past Cresta Loro, memories come back to him. The Vice President, His Excellency Vice President, referred to it a little bit, but not in enough detail. That Cresta Loro building, um, Ashwaji Bola Ahmed Tinubu and his campaign team, and in fact, his, when he was governor in waiting, governor elect, moved in there when it was a brand new building. That was the base for all the strategies and the blueprints and all the consultations that led to the, the, the in, uh, that, that preceded the taking off of the first administration of Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Not only that, uh, Otuma Gwenga Daniel not only gave up his brand new office, he also gave up uh, uh, part of his home because Ashwaju Tinubu also, uh, after consulting with people till late in the night, also uh, was hosted and housed by the Daniels. So he is uh, somebody who will not forget that great sacrifice. In the goodwill message of Governor Ipikule Amosun, delivered by the Deputy Governor, Chief Mrs. Yetunde Ononuga, he extolled the brain behind the founding of 25-year-old Crystal Laurel Limited and ended by wishing the company the very best in the nearest future. On behalf of the government and the good people of Ogun State, I wish to convey the sincere felicitations to Your Excellency and the management and, and entire staff of Crystal Laurel on this milestone occasion. No doubt, the company has truly distinguished itself as a leading indigenous engineering company with international repute. It was time to give a royal seal to that session of goodwill messages. From His Royal Majesty, Obasiki Rikayode Adetono, he revisited the need to have a redress of the bad politics being practiced by Nigerian politicians which has never served anyone well. Nevertheless, he acknowledged the very helpful contribution of Otumba Benga Daniel to the welfare of the people of Ogun State. He ended by wishing him and his amiable wife all the best in their future endeavors. The session of goodwill messages included those of Governors Ibrahim Dankwambo of Gwombe State, Ibrahim Saminu Turaki of Jigawa State, former Senate President David Mark, the Kone and AEC teams equally registered their support to the celebration of one of their partners in the lift business. A very hard-working person, a very transpar transparent person, a very dedicated, patriotic Nigeria. And the glory is to you, the young engineers who worked very closely and with OGD to, for him to achieve this. But I think the greatest of all the glory must go to his beautiful wife who gave him all the support and who has stood by him 
all these years. If you didn't have a good wife at home, then you will be locked up in the office and they won't do the best and they won't be able to come home. So the mere fact that he has achieved this shows really that, uh, Madam, thank you very much for being uh, with him. Crystal Laurels Limited's 25th anniversary celebration was one which had a blend of music from the budding youngsters, the FTK twins. Incidentally, the twin sons of the MD of Crystal Laurel Limited, engineer Dideolu Falobi. <laughs> Provide education for all the kids Cause without that, we don't know where the future leads Many living in the street, plenty miles to feed And you know that this is not meant The event saw the cutting of the Silver Jubilee Anniversary Cake With a host of dignitaries present Five, seven, eight, nine, ten Executive Director, Cresta Laurel Limited, Chief Coyote Muradeo, gave the vote of thanks to put paid to the historic celebration of the Silver Jubilee anniversary of the company.